Good evening to members of uh, the media. This is probably going to be the shortest press conference ever because I don't want to get into trouble. The least I say, the better. I've seen some amazing things this whole week in South African football, some amazing things. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, coach. Uh, good evening. I'm not sure if you say I'm not talking about the Mark. Good evening, sir. Uh, coach, can I just uh, take you through uh, the contents of your season so far? August, seven games, 140 minutes. September, six games, 140 minutes. October, five games, 450 minutes, 450 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then last six games, 30 minutes. Uh, it's an error. It has never happened in the history of the PSL or any other teams in Europe. The highest that this comes to see is the Premier League. Uh, it defies logic. No, there's experts experts that feel that uh, the team is not tired. There's experts. So if there's experts that know better, then it's okay. Um, all right. You've said it. I didn't say it. I I heard Hugo Bross say it. He said uh, when they when the Sundowns players came to his camp, the previous camp, they were mentally exhausted. I've never complained about exhaustion. I've never complained about the number of games. I've never said a word. But I've heard people telling me that we can't use the number of games as an excuse, and they are right because they know better. They 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 are the experts. Yes, sir. Thank you. You just made a payment from Chelsea. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit of background. Um, maybe sometimes now I was taking another heavy credit to 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 the league. Some of us to maybe to myself. No. Well, the, the the challenge is that we. In almost every other position, we've got two players, uh, except the right back, and uh, we've only got Mudao. We've got Tapelo, but my feelings about Tapelo's position is completely different to to what I think. I don't think Tapelo, in the way we play, when I envisage the team, is a right back. Uh, when it's this is when I envisage the team, when I look at the team and I try to, I don't. He doesn't fit into right back in, in 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 my mind. And so it's been very difficult also to rest Mudao or to play without uh, Mudao when he's suffered from injury. So Zuko, we followed a little bit. Uh, a lot of credit must go to the, as you say, the scouting department, uh, our sporting director and his assistant in the data department, and uh, also to the technical team and the coaches for the work that they've done in, in analyzing. And then, and then the club for for securing a, a talent that I think is very promising. Um, coach, Davi. Just to go back on the game, uh, the, the opportunity is yes, there, but how do you oh. adjust to reflect on the game as a whole? Or, and I know you don't want to touch on the touchy subject, um, but it's, it's also there. The, the issue of the physical aspect. No, but I, I think I think Mshish's situation early in the first half is is a situation that leads to a goal, and then the game is different. If if the opponent stays at zero zero and they 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 clearly are here for a zero zero, and the longer it goes, it's zero zero. Of course, it's going to have a problem. And we struggled a little bit with, with, with the rhythm and the tempo at times in the first half. But I think if if we make, if, I don't like to talk about refereeing decisions. I don't like to. But but that situation changes the game completely. And for it not to even be a foul is, is, a, is, is, is shocking. It's really, really shocking. And then the game goes 0-0, zero, zero, and then it's fouls, and then it's time-wasting, and then it's this, and then it's that, and then it's... Yeah, so uh, it's it's said that we have to close twenty twenty three with the South African public having to witness that 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 for me is 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 poor advertisement for 
for South African football in, in, J in general. But yeah, well, let's not be greedy. Let's take the point and uh, and move on. And that's all. Hi, Lawrence. The beautiful question, Lawrence, but I think this 90 minutes that we've just witnessed has shown you how much work I've got to do. So I don't want to focus on things that are not my job. It's not my job. Safa, whatever happens at Safa is not my job. And I'd rather not answer that question. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Kent. Oh, good evening, uh, Kent. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I always expect you to look at the picture and I hope I'm trying to. I know you, you said in the beginning that it was a special press conference because you don't want to be expressed for these things. But like, if I can try to pull you into um, looking at the bigger picture. Um, the first English blocks, the perfect hundred percent. This match block uh, at them um, still has been sustained with no assist from the US as a possible sequence. Do you really look at something like that and say, well, you just said now, like the, the big blocks of uh, vision from God is being out. Um, do, you, do you look at it and say, at least there's a positive in terms of what you're going to look for? Yeah, I I I want to watch the game again. I get the feeling that we could have we could have played with a, a more consistent rhythm to to keep the stove hot in the first half. I think sometimes we we allowed the game to to go in a direction that Bulukwane City wanted in the first half. I thought we were much better in the second half. I thought the, the lines were a lot closer to to the box. Uh, and then we, we uh, and, and then you free up either a river or a grant because Mafumo has to mark one of the, the center backs and Otolani when he came on and then then you've got to that's why I tried to bring in Obas uh, as a center back that can also use the ball also just as well as 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 as, as, uh, as river because that's where the spaces were or they were on this side and not on the other side. Uh, and and also sometimes even when you had that possibilities, I thought we made too many movements towards the ball. Um, and then we addressed that at halftime. It looked a little bit better in the second half. We got the stove hot. We played around the box. It's a game that I when I looked a little bit at the stats. Uh, stats don't always reveal everything, but I think if you look 72% ball possession, 700 and something passes, uh, 10 shots at goal, I, two, maybe you you unhappy because only two are on target, you know. So, so uh, and that's football. Um, from a performance perspective, what I can control is is our performance and our way of trying to do things and. And for sure, I think we can get better. It will, the break will help a little bit to try to rest also from a psychological perspective. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's all I can say to the Sundowns fans is they need to buckle up now. It's just buckle up. It's, 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 it's going to be a very, very difficult ride towards the end of the season. Buckle up. I get thank you so much. I don't I don't think I don't ask. But thank you so much. Um coach, judging on what you just said to me now, um as a as a, as a principal, I don't like asking people to make a perfect perfect decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I'm I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. From what you just said now, um from where I was sitting, it it seemed as if like no one city was happy to get the ball centrally just to suck it in a bit. Were you not tempted to maybe like touch for a bit more with? No. 
I don't like I don't like width. I don't I don't like width. I don't I don't I I I think you have to I think you have to defend the way you you attack and you have to attack the way you defend. And I think when you attack with a lot more width, you stretch yourself horizontally. It means that you've got a, diff, a team that is got lots of gaps between it when you turn over possession. So I don't like with the draws that we've had this month, three nil nil draws. There's a reason behind that. It's not that we are not we are we are keeping the ball all the time. It's because when we lose the ball, we've got numbers around it. So I don't like with I don't like I don't like I don't like the opponent having an extra player. And the touchline is an extra player. And the touchline only plays out of possession. You can't, only in five-a-side and small-sided, you know, the indoor football, the wall is a, is a teammate in possession. You can bounce the pass to the wall and you can get a one-two. You can't pass the, the ball to a touchline. It will go out of play. So when you play close to the touchline, you must know that the defenders or the team that is out of possession has an extra player. So it's 12 versus 11. So I don't like that. It's me. It's my personal preference. And, 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 and uh, that's how I see football. That's how I feel about football. And, and, and I try to minimize anyway those possibilities. And on top of that, there's no goal. In, there's a corner flag on the side. There's no goal post on the side. So where are you going to the side? I'm very happy you are happy with my answer. <laughs> I try to please. Uh... No, look, it's, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, look, you watched probably the best game, the most important tactical battle of football this last week, Fluminense versus Man City. You, 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 you did. The average age of Fluminense is what? Yeah, and and where did they play most of their balls? On the sides. Why? Because they don't have the legs to press. So they use the touchline to press. Where did Man City use the ball? On the inside. Why? Because they've got a younger team that can counter press and, and run and cover meters and press and, and go to directly towards it's the shortest route to goal. So where you I I I Playing against a reinforced defensive block is the hardest thing ever. There's a lot of things that you've got to do, a lot of things. It includes trying to dribble, and then when you dribble, there's a high, very, very high chance of turnovers. And that's what Lucas was trying, Maseko was trying, it's not easy, Mshishi was trying, it's very difficult. And then you've also got to take shots from range because there could be deflections and things like that, corner kicks, free kicks, blah, 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 blah. You've also got to find possibilities with creativity. So you're thinking about the diagonal dodge, you're thinking about the dodge, you're thinking about th through passes, third man runs, and and those type of things. There's quite a lot of things that you can you can try to find the solutions to beat a reinforced block, which is the hardest thing in football anyway. And then when the team plays with a low block, one of the things that you need to play against a low block is always interrupt the rhythm and the intensity of the opponent. And that's what Bulukani City did very, very well with the assistance of the referees. So it becomes a very, very difficult game. And, and you, can't, uh, you can't ask the players to go to the sides because, because, because there's space on the sides. There's space on the sides, but there's an opponent on the sides. So... I hope I can. I don't know if I can, but I hope I can. I live in a space where, unfortunately, my life. Did you, you, you know what? What is nice? 
it, I think it's either you or Davi. You 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 uh, interviewed my uncle, Dr. Jomosono. Yeah. And he said, I don't know if this guy has a pet. So you, there's your answer. I, I try. Everyone tells me switch off a little bit, rest a little bit. Yeah, it takes some time off. I, I, I I'm, unfortunately, I, I can't do that. And my mind is always, how do I make the team better? How do, how do I? I'm just, I just live. Unfortunately, I live in that space, and, and that's going to be me for the rest of my life. You know, I can let me tell you something, and, and this is something that I say. You know, my, my late grandfather, Scarasona. You know how he died. Okay, let's you do the research. You know my uncle. He left his wedding, his wife, for a cup final. He said, "I do," and then he rushed to a football match. So who am I to complain of extra hours of sleep and this and that when, when my my late grandfather died because of football? He lost his life. My uncle left his wedding, the most important day of his life. He left, he said, he, all he said was, I do, and he was out. So people say, I must, I must sleep, I must rest, I must forget football, I must, uh, guys, I've got a lot of pressure, I've got a lot of pressure on me. And that pressure is not induced by anybody else except myself. And, and, and then the legacy of the family that I come from, unfortunately, that is how it is. And that will be the way it will be for up until I stop coaching. Did you want to know what the uh, coaching degree was to be? Coach, um, when it comes to national team, it's a it's my personal choice. I sometimes I don't like. Yeah. But when a club has got ten players yeah. in the national team, yeah. it's difficult not to look at it. Um, I think there was a time when um, there was a lot of talk about sundowns and in foreigners. Yeah. But I looked. I was in Cote d'Ivoire, and sometimes a TV will not show everything when you're watching on TV, and you could see the influence of the six or seven players who were starting or even played as the sundowns. Now they've changed the national team. How do you reflect on the 10 players going to the upcoming uh, with the club? First, uh, I must congratulate the club because uh, it means that we are recruiting the right talent. Uh, and, and it's the club that does that. It's not me. I don't buy players. So it's the club's players and they belong to the club. So you've got to give a lot of credit to the club. Second, you've got to give credit to the players because there's a lot of similar stories. Kemba's one, the coach had written him off and said he was too old, but he didn't go into the media and make a hoo ha. He, 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 he allowed his performances to speak for him. Today, he's one of the most important Bafana players. Sailor Mudao, the coach, was resisting and resisting and resisting and resisting. And what happened? Now, Sailor is in the national team. So you, as a coach, me, as a young coach, I look at Hugo Bros and I say, and I learn two things. The first thing I learned is that you can always change your mind. And wise people change their minds. But it is the performance that needs to speak for you so that you change your mind. And the second thing is loyalty. And you, you see how loyal Hugo Bros is. You guys can make all the noise you want, but Nyoko Mobi will be there. <laughs> You can make all the noise. He's no, he's 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 loyal. He's very very loyal. He's loyal to the players that are loyal to him. And I think modern day society, not just football, but modern day society, lacks lacks these soft skills and these values. Is and you can see he's very old school. He will bros. He says things as they are. And sometimes people don't like it because he, he he's he's brutally honest. But honesty loyalty, respect. These are values that modern day society has gone without. They, they out of the window. In fact, people are surprised when someone is honest. People are surprised when someone is loyal. People are surprised when someone is respectful. In fact, they, it's, it's crazy with how the world is at the moment.
it's 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 and it's a very sad state of affairs that's why when you play for sundowns you have to be a good human being first that's that's the first thing we discussion we have we say are you a good person and we look at you we follow you we check your friends the influence and we look behind and we we, we check because we don't want bad people in our space I think, I think my question was saying, uh, I wanted to include the, the type of Yaya Torah who is inserting Hafana as favor yeah. because of the Sandal. Uh, how do you feel? No, I'm humbled by that. Uh, there's a lot of talk about that. And uh, is uh, uh, when we, after the AFL, JJ Okocha spoke to me. Um, a very nice guy I'm, I, who I was privileged to meet uh, when I was doing analysis in the studio and uh, incredible human being. And he's, the words that he said about uh, the team is, is incredible. You've, you've heard what the Morocco coach speaks about Bafana and the Sundowns players influencing the Bafana team. These words are not coming from me, but there are people who still doubt this team and still question the level of performance and still talk negative about it. It's okay, guys. You know, you know. One thing I've accepted now is that I just, I just, I just allow God to 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 let His will be done. That's it. I, I I've gotten to that point, baby. I'm just saying, let God's will be done because I can't. I, 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 there are other people who are outside who see this thing and who who value it and praise it, and there are people who are emotionally should be attached to it. Protected with everything that they have, but but yeah, and then you get this this type of officiating that you get today. What the what the, I mean, South African football is in big trouble. But anyway, let me not talk because I will get into big trouble. So big trouble, big trouble, and big trouble, and big trouble is big, 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 big trouble. Uh, uh, it's just a, a bit of an expansion from the question that I asked. You are so correct. I'm going to tell them to sleep a lot and I'm going to tell them to drink lots of water. And then I'm going to tell Terence, enjoy Afcon. Mudao, enjoy Afcon. Mvala, enjoy Afcon. Ronwen, enjoy Afcon. And the pressure that you have to carry as the favorite. I'm going to tell him, Shishi, enjoy Afcon. I'm going to tell Tebu Mukwena, enjoy Afcon. I'm going to tell Peter Shalulile, enjoy Afcon. And I'm waiting for the game on the 21st. I've already put it in my diary and the 10 o'clock kickoff on the 21st. That's one game I can't miss. I'm going to tell Modiba, enjoy Afcon. I'm going to tell Tapelo Morena, enjoy Afcon. I'm going to tell Kulisa Mudao, enjoy Afcon. And then I'm going to tell Lucas Ribeiro, enjoy Brazil. I'm going to tell Gaston Serino, enjoy Uruguay. Uh, I'm going to tell uh, uh, Mendieta, enjoy Argentina. Uh, and then I'm going to tell Sipom Mule, enjoy Pretoria. And if you go home to Bethlehem, I'm going to tell uh, Neo Miami, enjoy Bethlehem. I'm going to tell, uh, uh, yeah, there's lots. I, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell them, enjoy your time off, have fun, uh, rest, and I will see you when I see you. I'm going to tell Rivaldo to enjoy Kakamas. It's, it's a beautiful city. They miss you there. Go enjoy with your family, and 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 that's it. Which I think just as a follow-up to that, what is the what is the plan for for January period? How much of it do you expect? How much of a balance do you expect between the winning team getting the players back, not having too much wins to really lose, and then just winning the state? What is the plan with knowing that you have come back? What is the incentives? What is the pressure? You guys have a job to do with the game tomorrow. Yeah, we do. There's going to be three weeks off, and, and we will work for three weeks when we come back. For my side, coach, thanks for always making time.